Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, here we are, brand new term starting and a brand new core text, which is Meerkat Mail. Now, some of you may have read this story before or not. I don't know if it's one that you're familiar with. Um, so I'm gonna just walk you through our um, top sheet to go with it. So the purpose is to write a story about going on a journey. The audience is for all of the children in Key Stage 1. And the context of that is how can we appreciate what we've got in life? And you'll kind of come to understand that um, as we explore the story uh, moving through. So we're clearly going to make sure we've got capital letters, finger spaces, full stops, exclamation marks. We're going to use a small range of conjunctions. We've got but and so. And we will find apostrophes for omission within the story. Uh, which are listed here, and also apostrophes for possession. Right, let's move on. Now, um, oh, let's stop and think about this front page here. Hmm, what do you think the story could be about? So pause the video and just have a little think about who you think the main character might be, what you think they might be doing in the story. Okay, how did you get on? Um, I wonder if you could guess that this might be a story about a meerkat. Um, and look, he's got a stamp in his hand. Mm, I wonder what he's going to be doing with that. Um, if we move on um, to the next bit under here, you'll see that um, as you open the book Meerkat Mail, there's a little bit of information just on the um, inside pages. And it tells you there's a little postcard from the character. He enjoys writing so much. Um, and it tells you that the um, book is all about him. And the main character in our story is a meerkat called Sunny. Okay, let's move on. Now, this is the most beautiful story. Um, and I have got a video of the author reading it to you. Now, it is a long video. Okay, so it's about 16 minutes, but she takes her time and she looks through all of the book and the illustrations are beautiful in there too. So I'm going to pause here and play you the um, story. So just let me pause the video and open the new screen. Let's begin. Hello, I hope you enjoy this book. It's about me. I like beetles on toast with insect larvae, daydreaming and Digging holes. Love from Sunny. Sunny's photo album. Oh look, they've got a cutting from a newspaper. It says, small but strong. Heroic meerkats pre-family motto. Stay safe, stay together. Our reporter, Liz Ard, investigates. Meerkat parents tonight breathed a sigh of relief after an act of supreme brute bravery foiled the murderous plans of a notorious local jackal. The jackal just leapt out of the iron rock, commented one shaken bystander. He was after our pups! But the cowardly jackal wasn't bargaining for what came next. Meerkats on lookout duty instantly alerted the mob who bravely banded together and drove the petrified jackal away. As the jackal fled in fear of his life, a jubilant meerkat remarked that he was reassured to know that in times of crisis, the mob stuck by their motto, stay safe, stay together. Tonight, the jackal is still at large. Meerkats are advised to remain vigilant, stay with their families and raise the alarm at once if they notice anything suspicious. This is all the meerkat family. Sunny lives in the Kalahari Desert. It is very dry and very hot. Sometimes Sunny thinks it is too hot. Sunny comes from a large family. They work together, play together, eat together, learn 
together. Remember, a near cat alone is on its own. Stay safe, stay together, and stay away from jackals. And they sleep together. <sighs> In fact, they do everything together. They are very close. Sometimes Sunny thinks they are too close. Sometimes Sunny wishes that he could live somewhere else. So he packs his suitcase and he writes his family a note. Dear everyone, I am off to find somewhere perfect to live. Don't worry, Mum, I'll be staying with our mongoose relatives, so I'll be quite safe. Love from Freddy! P.S. I promise to write. Look at this, it's back in this toothbrush, bucket, toothpaste and stamp. Oh, where is he now? On Monday, Sonny visits his uncle, Bob. And look, he's got a postcard. He's going to send it home. It says, African Red Hornbill. That must be that bird warning a mongoose of danger. And there's a postcard. Let's see what the postcard says. It says, to mum and dad. Oh, look, dwarf mongooses. That's what these are, dwarf mongooses. Look, I think that's Sonny's bum. Look how big he is compared to them. To mum and dad, it's a lot like being at home here, except I am the biggest. Hooray! The weather is sunny and the food is fantastic. Lots of scorpions. Yum. Best thing is no one has to keep lookout because there's this bird which goes, Wah! when there is danger. I told Uncle Bob our family motto is, Stay safe, stay together. He told me there's his run, hide from Sunny. Oh, look, it's two. The big meerkat mob, Sandy Burrow, the dunes, Kalahari Desert, under the big blue sky. Oh, look, there's a little bit of information on the side. It says, dwarf mongooses under threat are too small to defend each other. Instead, they disperse to find safety run away. Sometimes running away is a sensible thing to do. Uncle Bob's family make him very welcome, but Sonny just doesn't fit in. So on Tuesday, Sonny goes to stay with his cousins Scratch and Mitch and the rest of their family. Wonder what these animals are. Greetings from Banded Mongoose. Okay, we think they're Banded Mongoose. Let's have a look at the Banded Mongoose card. Postcard. Okay, Banded Mongoose live in groups of 10 to 20. Their diet consists mainly of insects. They are nomadic. That means they move every few days. So the meerkat mob, cozy burrow, the dunes, Kalahari Desert under the big blue sky. What's Sunny writing now? Dear Mum and Dad, his writing's a bit wobbly. We are no have been living in an old termite mound, but we are moving. There is plenty to eat. You're ticklishly, ticklishly Sunny. Oh look, we've got all those termites. Something's following him. Sonny is getting itchy feet. He decides it's time to move on. On Wednesday, he arrives at his cousin Edwards. Where's Edwards? Uh oh, do you think that's him down there? He says, hello from the farm. To the meerkat mob, sandy burrow, the dunes, scorpion-filled desert under the big 
blue sky. It says, Dear Mum, Dad, Grandad and Grandma, I'm staying on a farm. Ed's favourite food is chicken. I haven't tried it yet, but I've had plenty of eggs. Tell Mickey they're not as good as scorpions. Love from Sonny. Kiss, kiss. Look at Sonny, he's got his head in the hen house. He says, Sonny is not at all sure that eggs agree with him. <laughs> On Thursday, he heads off to stay with his cousins, Mildred and Frank. This is postcard for me. He says, I love rainy days. Ooh, this looks very soggy. Mm -hmm. Have a look at this postcard. It says the Liberian mongoose. Liberian mongooses inhabit rainforests. They feed mainly on earthworms and beetle larvae. To the meerkat mob, sandy wall. Oh, the dunes, the lovely dry desert. You think you might be missing home? Under the big yellow sun. Dear mum, Dad and everyone, it is raining quite hard. Hope the weather is better at home. Loads of love from Sonny, <laughs> from Rainy. P.S. Great Aunt Maureen was right. I should have packed an umbrella. Let's see, look at this. Sonny hates getting wet, so he decides to leave. He's not really found anywhere perfect yet, has he? Oh, look at this. By Friday evening, Sonny has reached Madagascar. He says the Malagasy nightlife. Let's have a look at this. What does this postcard say? It says... My meerkat mob, his writing's a bit wobbly, cosy, borrow, no, fed, the duvet, Cara. Oh, dear. Dear all, arrived at Auntie Bee's and Uncle Rob's. It's very late, so very dark. I think it... Self-service restaurant, fresh snails, frogs, earthworms, larvae, crustaceans, various small reptiles and insects. The original diving restaurant, diving for one in the wettest setting in the marsh. Look at this. You know what the name of that thing, the following thing is it? Can you tell me? Mm, I think you're right. It might be a jackal. Oh, look at this. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy, does he? I don't think he's noticed the jackal, though. It's about this little fella here. Marsh mongooses are solitary, that means they live on their own, and nocturnal, that means they stay up at night. They are good swimmers and prefer to live near water. I don't think Sunny does. Their diet consists of crabs, snails and frogs. To the meerkat family, lovely, warm, dry home. Oh dear. Dearest family, Great Aunt Flo lived on her own in a marsh. It is dark and wet. The food is disgusting. Slimy. 
And I am lonely, cold, and tired. I really, really, really wish you were here. Well, but I was not. All my love, kisses, and snuggles. Sunny, soggy sunny. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. That's a lot of kisses. Sonny is beginning to worry that nowhere is right for him. Oh, look how close the jackal is. Oh, and he's all alone. Uh oh. That's not very safe, is it? But then. On Sunday, Sunny arrives somewhere very dry and very hot, where everyone is very close. <gasps> I'm home! <coughs> it is perfect. And look, because they're all in a lovely big group together, look who's run away. The jackal. Ah, oh, there's the photo album at the end. Look, it's all his photographs that he took when he was away in the forest with the tiny little dwarf mongooses. Great Aunt Flo, you can't really see that one, can you? Auntie B and Uncle Rob showing me how to dance. It's a bit tired. Oh, look. Me and Mum. Oh. And look, another newspaper article. It says, Adventurer returns after one week away from his mob. Sonny comes home. Earlier today, a weary and slightly wiser Sonny Meerkat arrived home to the waiting arms of his relieved family. The plucky young adventurer was returning from a week-long quest to find an alternative lifestyle among his mongoose relatives. Sonny had been fed up with life at home for some time before he was trip. I was sick of the heat, he explains. I didn't want the responsibility of babysitting for my younger brothers and sisters, and I found lookout duty boring. I just really needed to get away. So did he find what he was looking for? Meeting my cousins was amazing. I just couldn't believe how different they all were. But the young meerkat admits I did get homesick. I missed the weather. My mum's cooking, especially beetles on toast, and sleeping in a safe, warm place. But most of all, I miss my family. And has Sonny unpacked his suitcase for the last time? Well, he wouldn't go that far, but for now, he says, I have discovered that I belong here, at home, <clears throat> together with my family, where I am safe. OK, I really do hope that you um, enjoyed that story. There's nothing better than... Um, hearing it be read by the um, author who wrote the book. Um, she just brings so much um, to sharing that story. I know it's a very long text, but we've got some simplified versions of it, which we will share with you on um, Dojo. So um, I just wanted to point out to you that the story is being read by Emily Gravitt, the author. She's an author and an illustrator, which means that she writes the story and also draws the pictures. OK, so who was the main character in that story? So the main character was a young meerkat called, what was his name? It was Sunny. So let's write a young meerkat called Sunny. And what happened to him in that story? Hmm, he went on quite an adventure, didn't he? He was feeling bored and fed up, just wanted to escape the life he had. So he went to visit his cousins. Then he realised something right at the end, that probably he would, was never happier than when he was back at home. OK, let's move on. So I was thinking, hmm, do we know of any other stories where the main character is an animal? And actually, quite on purpose, we have chosen all of our cortex um, 
this year to involve um, animals, just because we think that children really enjoy um, storybooks with animals in. So we've got Augustus, and I can see a lot of similarities with Augustus. Augustus was searching for something, he thought he'd lost his smile, and then at the end of the story he found it, he realised it wasn't far away from him. We had those Steves, those terrible puffins who would argue with each other, Superworm, he went on quite an adventure, didn't he? He was captured by evil Puffin. Oh no, that's how we modified it, isn't it? He was captured by the evil crow. And then the storm whale, who again, it needed a little bit of rescuing and a noy helped to set free. Okay, so now we have got a story map. Now this looks a little bit different to some of the story maps we've used before um, because we've um, sketched it out and bro really broken the story down. And also you'll see that um, each sentence is written in a box and that there are full stops. We'll maybe try and send you a copy of this text as well. So we're gonna have a go now at learning the story. We're just gonna try and keep it quite simple. We're not gonna do the postcards um, to have a go at doing. So this is the bit where some of you like to pause the video when I've had a go and then you have a go at retelling the story yourselves as well. So that would be great. Okay, so it goes like this. Sunny lives in the Kalahari Desert. It is very dry and very hot. Sometimes Sunny thinks it is too hot. Sunny comes from a large family. They work together, they play together, they eat together, and they learn together, and they sleep together. In fact, they do everything together. They are very close. Sometimes, Sunny thinks they are too close. Sometimes Sunny wishes he could live somewhere else. So he packs his suitcase and writes his family a note. On Monday, Sonny visits his uncle, oh, Uncle Bob's family, make him feel very welcome. But Sonny does not fit in. So on Tuesday, Sonny goes to stay with his cousins, Scratch and Mitch, and the rest of their family. Sonny is getting, I need my feet. He's getting, what's he getting? Can you point to your feet? Itchy feet. It's a bit difficult to do that, that's on a chair. He decides it's time to move on. On Wednesday, he arrives at his cousin Edward's house. Sonny is not at all sure that eggs agree with him. On Thursday, he heads off to stay with his cousins Mildred and Frank. Sunny hates getting wet, so he decides to leave. By Friday evening, Sunny has reached Madagascar. Sunny is afraid of the dark. He can't think of anything worse. Until on Saturday, he arrives at Great Aunt Flo's. Sunny is beginning to worry that nowhere is right for him. But then on Sunday, Sunny arrives somewhere very hot and very dry, where everyone is very close. And it is perfect. And he arrives home. Okay, 
So here are your jobs for today. This is your task. So for silver, I would like you to use the story map, which is here. So you can pause on this screen and you have a go at retelling the story using actions yourself. You can use my actions or you might change them and uh, do your own. It's easier if you're stood up when you're doing it to obviously reach your toes when you are doing the itchy feet bit. Um, that doesn't mean that his feet are itchy. That phrase means that he wants to travel um, somewhere new. Um, gold, um, you could have a go at recording your um, self retelling the um, story and post it on Stojo. And then for platinum, let me move myself out of the way. I do get in the way with these videos. Um, you could have a go, I'll go up here at the top. You could have a go at watching back your recording and asking a member of your family for feedback. Now I know that can be a little bit frightening sometimes when you ask somebody for feedback. So the way we do it in school is that we ask for two stars. So the stars are saying what was great about your performance. So you might say, well, you used a really nice loud voice, you had great actions, and then the wish, one wish, so something that would make it even better next time. Okay, um, we hope you enjoy doing that and we are very much looking forward to seeing your videos and your work on Dojo. Take care everybody.